Hi, my name is Carlos, and today we will see how to configure your Microsoft TTT5 email with more authentication in Outlook. On January 1st, 2023, Microsoft completed the process to disable basic authentication in Microsoft 365, and only more authentication is allowed. More authentication enhances the security of your account. It is a more secure method of authentication that uses protocols such as Auth, and it can work in combination with multi-factor authentication to provide an additional layer of protection against unauthorized access. Before configuring your Microsoft 365 email in Outlook, you need to make sure that you have the correct Outlook version to work with modern authentication. You need to know that Outlook 2016 or later support more authentication with no issues. Outlook 2013 may support more authentications, but you may need to make some changes to your Windows registry. If it is the case, I will leave the link and details in the description of the video. Outlook 2010 does not support more authentication, so in this case, you have to upgrade Outlook. If your account is already configured in Outlook, but is not using more authentication, you will need to remove the account and re-add it again. You need to be aware that you may lose some data when removing the account, like a contacts, calendars, and if you are using POP3, you may lose some emails. So it is recommended to create a new Outlook profile instead. You will always be able to open the original profile and recover any missing data. Let's now jump to our computer and see the process step by step. We will see two scenarios. The first one is where you can configure your account within Outlook. The second one, you will create a new Outlook profile where you can configure your Microsoft 365 email account. Before you start, I suggest you to check your email password. So you can open your browser and enter portal.office.com. We will enter our email address and the password. This time we will click on no. And we have access to our Microsoft 365 account. This is the same password for the email address. Now we will see the first case which is configuring the email account within Outlook. Then we open Outlook in our desktop. Then within Outlook, we click on File. Then we click on Add Account. We will be prompted to enter the email address that we want to configure. This is the email account in Microsoft 365. Then we enter our email address and we click on Connect. Outlook has found our email account in Microsoft 365 and it is asking for our password. This pop-up window asking for our password with the Microsoft logo in on the top is an indication that our Microsoft 365 account is using modern authentication. So we enter our password and then click on sign in. For this account, I don't have multi-factor authentication enabled. However, if we had multi-factor authentication enabled, we will be prompt to authorize the access from our phone. Then we click on sign in. It is now telling us that Windows will remember our password. Then we click on OK. Our account has been added to Outlook successfully. Then we click on Done. We now need to complete some settings it is asking how much history we want to keep in Outlook. You can select the default with this one year, or you can keep all the data. By moving this bar to the right, we will be able to keep the whole history of our emails in Outlook. It means in the local computer. Then we click on Next. Account successfully added, and we will need to restart Outlook. Then we close Outlook, and we will open Outlook again. We now see that our email account in Microsoft 365 is here in Outlook. Let's now have a look to the second scenario. We will close Outlook and we will create a new Outlook profile within the control panel in Windows. We can search for control panel 
However, we have it already here, control panel. We need to look for mail, Microsoft Outlook, which we have here. In some cases, you may not be able to see the icon. It is because it is classified as category. In this case, you won't see the icon. But if you click on the top right and then select large or small icons, then you will be able to see the mail Microsoft Outlook icon. Then we click on here and we need to click on show profiles. At this time in this computer, we have only one Outlook profile, which is called Outlook. To make it easier, we need to select these options, prompt for a profile to be used. It will allow us to select the profile that we want to use. This is in case we have different profiles. The next step is to add or create a new profile and click on add. We enter a profile name. It could be any name. I'm going to use Microsoft 365. And then we click on OK. We need to enter the information for our email account. I mean the Microsoft 365 email account, which is the one that we want to add to Outlook. We enter our name, our email address. We enter our password and we have to retype it again. Then we click on Next. Our account has been added to the new profile. Then we can click on Finish. In some cases, you might be prompted for the password again, and we will see the same pop-up window with the Microsoft logo when asking for the password, which will indicate that we are using modern authentication. Then we click on Finish. At this point, we can click on OK. Now we can open Outlook again. Since we selected the options to prompt for a profile to be used, we are seeing this small window and we are able to select which profile we want to use. Microsoft 365, which is our new profile, or Outlook, which is the old profile. Then we select Microsoft 365, which is the profile where we just configure our email account in Microsoft 365. Then we click on OK. As we can see, our Microsoft 365 email account has been configured in Outlook. Now, how can we make sure that our account is using modern authentication? Within your toolbar, you can click on this little arrow and then you will find the Outlook icon here. You can click Control and right click and you will find the option Connection Status. We can enlarge our window and we will find the column Authentication. All the accounts that are using modern authentication, you will see bearer asterisk. Now, in case you don't want to select the profile that you want to use, I mean, you want to use always the same profile, you can do this. Let's close Outlook. Now we go to the control panel again and click on Mail Microsoft Outlook. Then click on Show Profiles again, and we will select this option. Always use this profile. We will be able to select what is the profile that we want to use always from now on. Let's say that we want to use the new profile that we just created, Microsoft 365. We select here, we click on Apply, and then click OK. We can now close Control Panel again, and let's open Outlook. In this case, we're not going to be asked what profile we want to use. Let's see. Outlook opened our new profile automatically, without prompted. After your Microsoft 365 email is configured in Outlook with more authentication, you will need to enter the password again. It will be safe in your profile. I hope this video has been useful for you. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any question or comment, please leave it here down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, or want to find it easy again in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.